Transformers, they done got real talented. So you gaze on what you think is a woman if you want to. You gonna end up a woman Diddy say, Frito. You like, hey dog, I just met the one dog, I just met her! Yeah. And she's sending your location to uh 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 Tay Tay and them. Right. She's sending your location to Ray Ray and them. Oh that's, oh, that's gonna happen tonight. Yeah. Best believe me. Uh -oh. it, it probably happened last night. Uh -oh. They probably, they, she's shaking her head on the, on the balcony right now. Uh -oh. That's to take our time to read it. It's real interesting. They got a lot of two fans. And if y'all read it, y'all find out what's going on in the world today. I stop for this anytime. I love my black men. I love my black men. Honestly. I put my shit in park behind this. That's what I'm talking about. Let's do it. We're here for the black. Bike Week Festival. What are we doing? We're out here showing our people there's a better way. There's yeah. a better example. We on your street every day, day. But your past go trip like a vacay. Stutter run, let it hit. I say, wait. I got pain they can see in my face. You can wait. Pay for them gates. Drop a pants at time and a place. We gon' roll up a duck like skates. We gon' take you no need for a mate. Bobby the fish and I'm hungry. No switching up. Hit a script, not a split phone. I'm blowing up. I can't lose to the spirits. I'm showing up. Growing the spirit, but they say I'm growing up. Super young, but the That's beautiful what you guys are doing. You guys are great. Amen. I want to say one thing. Give me Ciroc 9 and verse 5. I want, God is going to require something of y'all for everything y'all just heard. Come on. Because it's good news. But y'all not out here for the sunshine. Y'all not out here for the water. Y'all not out here for the sand. I don't know why y'all out here. And guess what? God know why y'all out here. Watch this. The book is Ciroc. Chapter 9 to verse 5. K's not on a maid. Don't do what? K's not on a maid. God said keep your eyeballs to yourself. Gaze not on a maid. Because guess what? Our sisters are lost just like our men out here. And guess what they're doing? They're wearing clothing to show off their body. Why? Because they need something inside that only the Bible can provide. But guess what men are doing? Men are taking advantage of that. So what are we uh, telling the men to do? Read it again. Gaze not on a maid. Don't give them that attention to keep them lost. Gaze on a maid. They need somebody to protect them out here. So guess what? They don't know how to protect themselves. They would wear clothes if they knew how to protect themselves. They would cover their bodies if they knew how to protect themselves. But guess what? We as men, we let our sisters down because we walked away from God's law. So God is requiring y'all, read again, gaze not on a maid. That thou fall not by those things that are precious in her. That precious thing in her, her body, her femininity, that's for her husband. What's your, what's your name, bro? You just walked out. What's your name? What's your name? Prince, you a prince with the power of God. Right. You are Israelite according to the Bible. Right. This is a message for the Israelite man. Read it again. We're going to read this a thousand times today. Right. Gaze not on a maid. You hear that, Prince? God said, gaze not on a maid. Don't be staring at these women half naked around here. Right. Have some self control. Right. Have some discipline. Right. Read. That thou fall not by those things that are precious in her. Because guess what? Just like how men are predators out here, oh, these women, they out here looking for a sucker. Oh, they out here looking for a lady. Guess what? You gonna, you gonna think you met the one, and you gonna wake up with your wallet gone, with your keys gone, with your phone gone. Am I lying? Read it again. Gaze not on a maid, that thou fall not by those things that are precious in her. Give not thy soul unto harlot. You know what? Thy soul unto harlot. It's from my, it's from soul suckers out here on this beach today. Right. And guess what? They got bikinis. They got on fishnet. They got blonde hair on their head. They got their ass out. And they hunting for the soul of God's precious Israelite man. We out here to warn you: don't get caught up in the hype. Read. Give not thy soul unto harlot, that thou lose not thine inheritance. That thou what? Lose not. Thine inheritance. You got a job, don't you? I can see by your shirt. The Bible says, play with these hoes if you want to. You're going to lose that inheritance. You're going to lose that money.
money. You don't lose that bread. Oh, oh y'all thought the Bible wasn't a real book. The Bible the realest book on earth. But guess what? It hasn't been taught by the prophets of God. It was taught, we was taught that the white man was Jesus Christ. The white man turned us into simps. The white man turned us into simps. But guess what? The prophets of God, we the gods on earth. And we here to restore order. That's right. Look not round the belt in the street. Oh, 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 Read that again. Look not round the belt in the street. God said, where are you going to find the holes at? In the street. Oh, you going to use the game over there. She belongs to the street. No, God said that. Read. Look not round the belt in the streets of the city. Neither wander thou in the solitary places thereof. Don't wander up and down these little alleys looking for a woman, right. looking for a little dot, right. looking for a little jump off right. or a sneaky nigga, right. whatever the hell y'all calling them today. Right. The Bible is warning you. Right. Read. Turn away thine eye from a beautiful woman. What? Turn away thine eye from a beautiful woman. Right. Why? Now, I gotta ask y'all this. Why would God put this in the Holy Bible? Why would he write this? Because he knows man. And he knows the black woman. And he said in order to protect my men on this earth, I must write it in the Bible, and I must have a prophet's teaching. Read. Turn away thine eye from a beautiful woman, and look not upon another's beauty. You hear that, brothers? The Bible says don't get caught up with these women out here. They're going to take everything. It's a nice truck. They're going to go home with it. They're going to be back in Miami with your wallet, with your debit card, with your social security number. And guess what? They're going to leave behind a disease for you, just for the memories. They're going to leave behind a little itch, just for a souvenir. Read. And look not upon another's beauty. For many have been deceived by the beauty of a woman. Do you hear what the Bible is saying? Many have what? Been deceived by the beauty of a woman. And guess what? Some of y'all gonna get deceived tonight by what you think is a woman. Read that again. For many have been deceived by the beauty of a woman. Let me tell you something. Them Transformers, they done got real talented. So you gaze on what you think is a woman if you want to. You're going to end up on one of Diddy tapes. Read on. With, love is kindled as a fire. Because you think you in love. you like, hey, dog, I just met the one, dog. I just met her. And she's sending your location to Tay-Tay uh, 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 and them. She's sending your location to Ray-Ray and them. Bring it up. Oh, that's, oh, that's going to happen tonight. That's believing. Hey, it probably happened last night. They probably She's shaking her head on the, on the balcony right now. And my sister, that's for you right here. Turn away thy eye from the beautiful woman. You see it right there? She like any, many, mighty, mo. Hey, get Proverbs chapter 7. We're going to talk about it. And my sister, you see it? You see it? She picking. She said, yeah, him on the bike right there. Yeah. He's from Jamaica. He don't know no bad time. He don't know how to go in these streets out here. You know what I want? I saw a simple one in the verse seven. No, no, it's only verse six. Proverbs chapter seven and verse six. For at the window of my house, you see where she at? She at the window of the house. Read. I look through my casement. She looked through the window, and what she see? And beheld among the simple ones. What she see? The simple ones. She saw a simp. She looking for a simp right now. Oh, that's what, they got that car some rims on that. Check. I see you got a little, uh, little paper on it. Check. Hey, I beheld among the simple ones. I discerned among the youths a young man void of understanding. You know how she knows that you don't have no understanding? Because you're not on this side teaching God's law. Oh, yeah, the men that have understanding, they're going to be teaching God's laws to God's people. She knows she can't get none of these men in these purple right shit.
of y'all brothers married out here. We protected by God Almighty. Hey, hey. We passing through the street near our corner. As it were, through the street near her corner. They walking all up and down the street and she watching from the casement. She watching from the balcony. She said, yeah, him right there. I, I'm gonna go put my dress on. I'll be right downstairs. Right. And he went the way to her house in the twilight, in the evening, in the black and dark night. So when the Bible says don't be out in the streets and in the solitary places, he's telling you what time do not to be outside. Because that song, the freaks come out at night. Yeah, the Bible said that first. And behold, there met him a woman with the entire of a harlot. So if you're on the back of a mic and you got your body hanging out, what God said? With the entire of a harlot. If we can see the whole body, what the Bible says? The Bible said, don't gaze on a maid. Right. You see how the pieces coming together? Right. Because she is looking for love. Right. You're looking for love. Right. And you're going to find heartbreak in an empty bank account. Right. Right. And, and, and a disease. Breathe. Right. No. And subtle of heart. And what? And subtle of heart. Meaning she's trickery. She has trickery. Yeah. She right. can deceive you. A lot of these women is out here to trick these men. Yeah. Am I lying? It's a Bible lying. Breathe. She is loud. And he, whoa, whoa, whoa. So now, the Bible is going to give you an indicator on how to find a subtle harlot that wants your money. Bring it on. How you doing, my sister? You believe in the Bible? I do. You believe the Bible is a true book? I do. Because the Bible is talking about the black woman right now. That's right. You want to hear it? Here it go. Read on. She is loud. Wait. She's what? She is loud. You might, might not be talking about you. But are our sisters loud once they get a little lick in them? Yeah. Are they loud when they get a little sexy red plane? Right. You know? Are they loud when they smell that salt water on that beach and they be like, hey, they talk be sticking out? Okay, so we can check that off. Breathe. And stubborn. Whoa. And what? And stubborn. Who is this talking about, my sister? Who is it talking about? Me. It is talking about you. Wait, 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 she's going to be a bike week. Her feet are bike, not in her house. You know that home with the kids? Not in her house. The Bible says in the dark night, her feet don't be in the house where she belongs. Ah! The raising up, getting the house in order, keeping it clean, making sure the kids got a good education. Ah! How y'all doing, my sister? Come on down. We are educating y'all about yourselves in the Bible. That's we was taught that the white man was Jesus Christ. The white man turned us into simps. The white man turned us into simps. But guess what? The prophets of God, we the gods on earth. And we here to restore order. Read on. Look not round about in the street. Oh, read that again. Look not round about thee in the street. God said, where you gonna find the holes at? In these streets! Oh, you thought Future came up with that? She belonged to the streets? No! God said that! Read! Look not round about thee in the streets of the city! Neither wander thou in the solitary places thereof! Don't wander up and down these little alleys looking for a woman, looking for a little dot, looking for a little jump off, or a little sneaky linger, whatever the hell y'all calling them today! The Bible is warning you. Breathe. Turn away thine eye from a beautiful woman. What? Turn away thine eye from a beautiful woman. Why? Now, I got to ask y'all this. Why would God put this in the Holy Bible? Why would he write this? Because he knows man. And he knows the black woman. And he said in order to protect my men on this earth, I must write it in the Bible. And I must have the prophets teach it. Read. Turn away thine eye from a beautiful woman. And look not upon another's beauty. You hear that, brothers? The Bible said don't get caught up with these women out here. They're going to take everything. It's a nice truck. They're going to go home with it. They're going to be back in Miami with your wallet, with your debit card, with your social security number. And guess what? They're going to leave behind a disease for you, just for the memories. They're going to leave behind a bitch, just for a souvenir. Read. And look not upon another's beauty. For many have been deceived by the beauty of a woman. Do you hear what the Bible is saying? Many have what? 
been deceived by the beauty of a woman. And guess what? Some of y'all gonna get deceived tonight by what you think is a woman. Bring it out! Bring it out! Let me tell you something. Them Transformers, they done got real talented. So you gaze on what you think is a woman if you want to. You gonna end up on one of Diddy tapes. Read on. With love is kindled as a fire. Because you think you in love. You like, hey dog, I just met the one dog. I just met her. And she's sending your location to uh 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 Tay Tay and them. She's sending your location to Ray Ray and them. Oh that's oh that's gonna happen tonight. Best believe it. It, it probably happened last night. They probably did. She's shaking her head on the on the balcony right now. Hey, my sister, this for you right here. Read again. Bring, bring it out. Turn away that eye for the beautiful woman. You see it right there? She like any, many, money, mo. Hey, get Proverbs chapter seven. We gonna talk about our sister. Hey, my sister. You see it? You see it? She picking. She say, yeah, him on the bike right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He from Jamaica. He don't know no better. He don't know in these streets out here. You know what I want? I saw a simple one in the... Yeah. Verse 7. No, no, start at verse 6. Proverbs chapter 7 and verse 6. Read oh. at the window of my house. Uh -oh. You see where she at? She at the window of the house. Read. Bring it out. Through my casement. She looked through the window and what she see? And beheld among the simple ones. What she see? The simple ones. She saw a simp. Oh. She looked for a simp right now. Oh, that's a, that, that car got some rims on that. Check. I see you got a little, uh, little paper on it. Check. Read. Well, I beheld among the simple ones. I discerned among the youths a young man void of understanding. You know how she knows that you don't have no understanding? Because you're not on this side teaching God's law. Oh, yeah, the men that have understanding, they're going to be teaching God's laws to God's people. Oh, you know she can't get none of these men in these purple right here. I got a question. How many of y'all brothers married out here? We protected by God Almighty. Yes, right. Passing, Passing through the street near her corner. Passing where? Through the street near her corner. They walking all up and down the street and she watching from the casement. She watching from the balcony. She right. said, yeah, him right there. I, I'm going to go put my dress on. I'll be right downstairs. Right. Read. And he went the way to her house in the twilight, in the evening, in the black and dark night. So when the Bible said, don't be out in the streets and in the solitary places, he's telling you what time do not to be outside. Because that song, the freaks come out at night, yeah, the Bible said that first. Read. And behold, there met him a woman with the entire of a harlot. So if you're on the back of a bike and you got your body hanging out, what God say? With the entire of a harlot. And we can see the whole body, what the Bible say? Bible said, don't gaze on a maid. You see how the pieces coming together? Because she's looking for the simple ones. You're looking for love. And you're going to find heartbreak in an empty bank account. And, and, and a disease. Read. And subtle of heart. And what? And subtle of heart. Meaning she's trickery. She has trickery. She can deceive you. A lot of these women is out here to trick these men. Am I lying? Is the Bible lying? Read. She is loud. And she, oh, oh, oh. So uh -oh. now, the Bible's going to give you an indicator on how to find a subtle harlot that wants your money. Bring it up. How you doing, my sister? How are you? You believe in the Bible? I do. You believe the Bible's a true book? I do. Because the Bible's talking about the black woman right now. You want, you, you want to hear it? Here it go. Read on. She is loud. Wait. She's what? She is loud. Now, it might, we, not, we might not be talking about you, but are our sisters loud once they get a little lick in them? Yeah. Are they loud when they get a little sexy rap playing? Yeah. Are they loud when they smell that salt water on that beach and they're like, hey, they talk be sticking out? Okay, so we can check that off. Breathe. And stubborn. Whoa. And what? And stubborn. Who is this talking about, my sister? Who is it talking about? Yeah, it's talking about you. Read. Her feet abide not in her house. Wait, wait, wait. She's going to be that bike week? Her feet abide not in her house. She's not at home with the kids? Not in her house. 
The Bible says in the dark night, her feet don't be in the house where she belongs. Right. Raising up, getting the house in order, keeping it clean, making right. sure the kids got a good education. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. How y'all doing, my sister? Come on down. We are educating y'all about yourselves in the Bible. Let's start up at verse 7 again. Verse 7. Come on. And beheld among the simple ones. I discerned among the youth a young man void of understanding. So the Bible says the black woman looks from her balcony, because we just saw one, and she's searching for a man void of understanding. Right. Who gonna buy us drinks tonight? Who gonna pay for our rent so our Airbnb? Yeah. Who gonna fund this trip? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She said, y'all married? All praise to the most high. At least we do. We got something right. Read. Passing through the street near her corner. Come on. And he went away to her house in the twilight in the evening, in the black and dark night. Now, this is what a simp is doing, but the Bible's about descri to describe a harlot. Now, what's your, what's your name, brother? Joe? June? June. Would you ever let any man call your wife out her name? It's gonna be consequences and repercussions. It's gonna be some furniture movement, right? Right. Okay, so watch this. And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of an harlot. Now, we're going to specify that slur. If somebody said, hey, Joe, June, your woman a hoe. It's up. You throwing the left and the right, correct? But the Bible says that there's a woman in the attire of an harlot. So if he's just describing what he sees, is he wrong? According to the Bible? Because you got to ask, what is the attire of a harlot, June? I'll make it plain for you. If you if you looking for a woman that's selling her body, what's your name? Quan. If you looking for a woman that's selling her body, what if you, and she, you don't? She ain't got no name tag on. How are you gonna find her throughout all the women on the earth? What's she gonna look like? Bring it out, Quan. Bring it out. Quan. walking up and down this beach all day long. Yeah. If you know what, if you, it's, it's, if a chick trying to get chose, what she gonna have on? She gonna have on something that's not, that's showing her skin, bro. That's showing what? Skin. No, showing her skin. Bro. Why? Because she's trying to uh, gain your attention to gain your money, to gain your, uh, your pocket, right? The Bible says the attire of an harlot. Now, June, I know you love your wife. If you love your wife, you gotta guide her according to the commandments of God. First Timothy chapter two, verse nine, because I know your wife ain't no harlot. She's married to you, right. and she ain't for nobody else. Right. But she needs to uh, dress in that appearance, dress right. in that manner. If, you, if your house on fire and a man walk up in a firefighter uniform, you expect him to get a hose and get to work, right? He like, oh no, nah, I'm just out here, bitch. Uh, that's gonna be a problem, right? Your wife got that uniform on. Right. If she not a harlot, why she why she not dressed like a wife? Yeah. Read the book of First Timothy, chapter two and verse nine. Yeah. In like manner, also the women adorn themselves in modest apparel. On y'all wedding day, you wore a nice gown, didn't you? Yeah. Oh Lord Jesus! What you wore? I wore a suit. A suit? Oh, <laughs> we got some work to do, gentlemen. We got some work to do, y'all. Okay. Bring it out. So we're gonna deal with this and then we're gonna jump to that. What did you have on there, June? Damn. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. June Lenny. You had on Lenny? Yeah. So you was flowy and she was in the suit. Oh. <laughs> Alright. 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 Read again. In like manner also, the women adorn themselves in modest apparel. God said for his daughters, the future wives out here and wives right now, to wear clothes that's modest. Nobody supposed to see her figure, June. Nobody supposed to see her legs, June. Nobody supposed to see her cleavage, June. That's all for you. God said. And y'all not supposed to be out here looking for those. Y'all not supposed to be out here looking for the ones that got less clothes on. Yeah, your neck. Cause you do you want a, a, a wife or you want a baby mama? I want a wife. You want a wife? Then what you doing out here? Cause she ain't a bike week. Do you want a wife or you want to jump off? She ain't out here at bike week. We already read was gonna be out here at bike week. Do the wrong twenty two o'clock cause we gotta deal with the fact that you are. So why did you wear a suit on your wedding day? 
Well, we had gotten married already. Uh -huh. So we went to just the peace. And I just had on a, a business, like a, a business suit, a coat, some paint. We was already established. We've been established. This is 42 years right here back. I got you. I got 42 you. 42 years. But it's 42 years outside of God's laws. Oh, that's what being born, that's what being born again is all about. Oh, 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 he, is, he was a grown man. When he asked Christ, what does it mean to be born again? No, so please. even though y'all 42 years right now, guess what? Without God's law, you said, huh? huh? 22. 20, any y'all 22 years right now, y'all still babes without God's law. Oh, like this one, read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. Bring it the woman. The what? The woman. What's your name, sis? Jasmine. Jasmine. June and Jasmine. Jasmine, what? The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Is a business suit. Does that belong to women or to men, June? No. That belongs to men. Oh. So in the pictures of y'all wedding at, at the Justice of the Peace, y'all both like this. <laughs> no! Because guess what? The Bible is a spiritual book. The laws are spiritual. So when, when, a, when a man wears feminine clothes, how does he carry himself? How does he carry himself, June? Feminine! So if the day y'all putting that pen of that paper on the covenant of marriage which God ordained, and your woman is in a suit and pants, what type of spirit is she in? Bring it out! Bring it out! Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Because now you, now you gotta analyze the last 22 years. Like, yo, do I run things or do I not run things? Bring it out! Because, we're gonna test the orders. Can he tell you what to wear and what not to wear? You see right there? That's why we need God's laws. Because what she just said and did in front of all these men is out of order. Even if it ain't true, she's supposed to honor you and say, I do absolutely everything my husband told me to do. If there was some respect involved. In 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Bring it out. We're going to break this all the way down. You know why? Because the Bible's a spiritual book, June. And guess what? The Bible's written in masculine form for a reason because look at all these men out there. Look at all these men out here on the beach, period. We ain't come out here for no reason. We come out here to wake up the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And it start with you, June. You got to grow your beard, too. We're going to talk about that. Read. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11 and verse 3. Bring it on. But I would have you know. Hey, and Quan, what's your name? John. John and Quan. This is going to teach y'all how to not be sick. Because y'all saw what just happened? We're teaching y'all how to avoid it. Read. But I would have you know. Come on, June. Listen up, June. No, no, no. Come on. Read. The head of every man is Christ. The head of every Israelite man out here, including you, you and you, is Christ. Christ is a black man. He is this white man right here. That's what the Bible says. Read. And the head of the woman is the man. The head of what? Of the woman is the man. So who is her head? I can't answer. I'll put it to you. I'm going to talk about you. Who is your head? Come on, Jasmine. I guess it's supposed to be you, right? Is that what I said or that what God said? That's what the book says. That's what the book says. That's right. You don't put person persona to it. That's what God said. That's right. Yeah, you love God, right? I love God. So you're going to do everything that man says from now on, right? Bring it out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh. Ephesians chapter 5. We got to break it down even further. Bring it out. Hey, y'all didn't yeah. know y'all was going to go to marriage therapy out here and bite me. This is good stuff, right? Because guess what? You know what it's going to do? It's going to have y'all uh, uh, grow in age together in unity and in righteousness. Right. Read. The book of Ephesians, chapter 5 and verse 22. Bring it out. Why? Submit yourselves unto your own husband. You saw that? It's, cl it's plain as day. Wives, submit yourselves to your own husband. Because you got you got a job, sister. Do you submit yourself to your boss? Man. If he tells you, I need this on my desk by 12 o'clock, is it there by 12.30? By 1 o'clock? In good timing? It's there at 12 o'clock. It's not the cat. It's there exactly what he said it to do it. But let my man June get hungry and be like, I want, I want a sandwich when I get home from work. Why don't your ass pick up something on the way home? You know I just got home from work. Why can't you submit to your husband the same way you do to your boss? That's right. That's a reason to do as to why you had a suit on when you got married. What? Read the Bible again. Why? Submit yourselves unto your own husband as unto the Lord. Because
because our black women love to say, oh, I'm not, I'm, Christ is my head. Right, bring it up. Christ is, I'm married to Christ. Yeah. Well, guess what? Christ, the black Messiah said, he is Christ in the household. Right. So you submit to him, and that's the way you submit to Christ. Right. Anything outside of that is evil and it's wicked. Right. But that's what we've been taught here in America. Right. Feminism. Right. You can wear what you want. Right. You can do what you want. Right. Now let's deal with the man. Leviticus 21 and 5. Bring it up. Also the roof. Cause because cause that's what we out here to do, my brother. You, you're supposed to be on this side. You too, Quan. You too, John. Learning God's laws and teaching God's laws and rebuking this wickedness out here. And I guarantee y'all love God, right? But today's God's Sabbath day. There's not supposed to be no buying, no selling, no working today. Right? No line that going on. And there's definitely not supposed to be no reveling, no partying, no getting drunk. According to God's laws. That don't mean you can't have fun as an Israelite. Hey, yo, who all went to the new moon? Who all had a good time at the new moon? The new moon is a biblical high holy day that God gave us. And there's nothing like it. It's, it's, it's way better than some wicked bike week. Read. The book of Leviticus, chapter 21 and verse 5. Bring it on! They shall not make baldness upon their head, neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. So the Bible says in order for you to gain that masculinity back and that manhood back, it starts with the physical, just like how she needs to wear dresses and skirts in the modest variety. You need to wear a beard. Why? Because you were made in the image of Christ. He was made in the image of God. You are a God walking the earth. You too, Quan. It's going to come in when it's time. It's going to come in. You too, John. It's going to come in when it's time. I see you got a little piece of buzz at the top. You rocking what you got. But guess what? The Bible said not to shave off the corner of your beard. Why? Because a beard is a badge of manly dignity, John. That's your first step in becoming an Israelite man. For real, for real. All right? You are saying, sis, we are the gods of this earth. And God sent us out here to restore the decay and state of our people. Read what you got. Psalms, chapter 82 and verse 6. I have said, Christ said, said, we, ye are God. Ye are what? God. We are not brethren and men, sis. When we come back to this Bible, we are God. It's one day to know Jesus Christ is a black man according to the Bible, but I didn't know God didn't care about no other race on the planet but mine. Nation is 